Some of the biggest changes to take place in Warsaw during the 20th century were on the roads. In the early years, the horse was king, but they were soon replaced by mechanised forms of transport in various forms. September 1933 saw the end of an era. Tram cars, steam or electric, have been running in Walsall for nearly 50 years. The first steam tram service was inaugurated in December 1884, but in recent years, petrol omnibuses have been ousting them, until the only route on which they have remained for the past four and a half years has been that between the bridge and Blockswich. Now they have come to the end of their service, for tonight's last car is the last that will run on a rail track in Warsaw. Tomorrow, they will be superseded by electric trolleybuses. The Mayor, Councillor William Dean, and several members of the Council took part in a trial trip aboard a trolleybus on the Blockswich route yesterday afternoon. Tea was afterwards served at the Transport Employees Club in Stafford Street, where Alderman Thicket, Chairman of the Transport Committee, remarked that they were not unmindful that the people on the Blockswich route had been patient and long-suffering, but added that, Verily, they will have their reward in one of the finest fleets of trolleybuses ever seen. The trolleybuses, or trackless trams as they were sometimes known, used the same overhead power cables as the trams, but ran on rubber tyres rather than tracks, which made them more comfortable and easier to manoeuvre. The buses were also extremely quiet, lacking the noise made by diesel engines and metal wheels on tracks. So quiet, in fact, they were often referred to as the silent service. Unfortunately, rather too many pedestrians failed to notice their approach and fell victim to what became known as the silent death. Nevertheless, the old blue trolleybuses served Warsaw well, but they too would fall victim to progress and these scenes recall some of their last days on Warsaw's streets. The final journey was made on the 3rd of October 1970. As the last Walsall trolleybus trundled its way from the bus depot through Blockswich and Leemoor and the town centre, nearly 2,000 people lined the route to pay their final respects. Travelling on the bus were members of Walsall Town Council, their wives and families, and 62-year-old Mr. Albert Rowley of Harleck House, Lima. Mr. Rowley was a passenger on the first Walsall trolleybus, which ran in July 1931, and wanted to travel on the last one for old time's sake. Mr. Rowley said he regretted seeing the passing of the trolleybuses, mainly because they were cleaner than any other form of transport he knew. He felt that their disappearance marked the end of an era. Mr W R Butler, who'd been an inspector on the buses for nine years, told the Express and Star of the enormous interest that Warsaw people had been taking in the event. All day, four trolleybuses had been running, giving passengers a nostalgic ride. The receipts from these journeys had been £200 which meant that at least 4,000 passengers had travelled on the buses that day, he said. Mrs Joan Hall, conductress, passed along the last bus, issuing free souvenir tickets to passengers. She said that she was sorry to see them go, because they had character, even if they were cold in the winter. The bus paused briefly in St Paul Street, where hundreds of people lined the route. A few were cheering, but the majority seemed sullen and respectful, like passers-by gazing at a funeral. The bus then turned back to the depot for the last time. When it arrived, 
it was greeted by cheers and a barrage of flashbulbs from trolleybus enthusiasts who travelled from all parts of the country just for this one photograph. All things considered, it was quite a sad day for Warsaw. The stately blue trolleybuses will never swish along the streets again. So, another bit of Warsaw's heritage was consigned to history. From now on, diesel buses would carry us to and fro. Mind you, even they were evolving. Remember the little platform at the back where you could hop on and off when the bus slowed down? Automatic doors put paid to that. And conductors who actually came to you and gave you change are now a thing of the past. 